Regardless of the sentiments captured in a photograph, from throughout history have the power to freeze moments in time. Like any period in the age of photography, the 1800s in America have widely documented. So let's get ready to witness the 40 vintage photos of American history. So here is the first photo on the list, captured in the 1890s showing a couple walking along the beach. In the 19th century, beach going became increasingly popular, first in Britain where doctors recommended it to treat melancholy, and later in America as the trend spread along the East Coast. The image here features Native American prisoners of the Red River War in 1875. The American government attempted to reduce or eradicate Native American tribes who ran along the route as more Americans moved west during the 19th century. The following image depicts a family standing in front of their sod home constructed in the Nebraska Plains, without a natural supply of common materials like wood or stone. American prairie homesteaders were forced to rely on sod, grass, and a layer of soil and roots beneath it. This photograph from 1892 shows Cincinnati-based Brighton Bicycle Club members as they were prepared to race. Before Americans had many transportation options beyond coaches and horse-drawn wagons, cycling emerged as a convenient and popular way for people to get around. Another image in this collection shows Jeanette Rankin speaking on April 2, 1917 from the balcony of the National American Women's Suffrage Association. On the same day that President Woodrow Wilson declared, the world needs to be made safe for democracy. A group of slaves got captured in the photo working on a sweet potato plantation in South Carolina in 1862. The lifeless expressions on the figures in the picture may be the photographer's attempt to convey the difficulties that would still exist even in a world without slavery. This image from the 1870s shows the docks of a busy New Orleans port where ships were being loaded with merchandise for traveling along the river. The following image shows President Abraham Lincoln's funeral procession moving along Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. The funeral procession covered 1,700 miles between April 19th and May 3rd. This image was photographed by William Henry Jackson in 1872, featuring the survey team of an expedition sitting beside their camp. The image depicts the Annie, the first boat to sail on Yellowstone Lake. Photographer William Henry Jackson captured this photo for the 1871 Hayden Geological Survey. This image shows a group of placer miners at the Arizona Territory town of Prescott in 1885, who was searching for minerals. In this shot, young men are getting recruited for Spanish-American War. As you can see in the image, New York military recruits are attempting to enlist volunteers to fight in the battle. This image depicts kids having fun and swimming in a public bath in New York. In the city's less affluent sections in the late 19th century, immigrants frequently appeared beside public bathhouses. This photograph shows the 1892 opening of Ellis Island. Ellis Island in New York Harbor became an entry point for immigrants traveling to the United States. Almost 12 million immigrants are estimated to have entered the country through Ellis Island. The next shot captured in 1898 depicts gold seekers walking down the path. The 26-mile Chilkoot Pass in Alaska, known as the Golden Staircase, was traversed by hopeful and extraordinarily brave prosecutors during the Klondike Gold Rush. If you admire vintage and historical images and want to know more about them, here's your chance. Three men are seen in this image selling a variety of reading materials, including comic books, a weekly newspaper, and a newspaper with a front-page article about the actor Edwin Booth, the brother of Abraham Lincoln's assassin John Wilkes Booth. This image shows a cluster of hillside oil derricks owned by the Shoe and Leather Petroleum Company and the Foster Farm Oil Company in Pioneer Run, Pennsylvania. In this photo, workers are standing in a Minneapolis steam electricity plant which powered many of the city's street cars. This photo captures the view from across the Great Basin, a sparkling lake in the center of the fair's Court of Honor, which was expertly designed and decorated by a group of artists and architects. The photo shows the hectic floor of the New York Stock Exchange nearly a hundred years after its founding. The Buttonwood Agreement signed on Wall Street in New York City in May 1792 was the first document to propose a centralized exchange in the United States. A horrific image of the mountain of bison skulls is the most famous photograph of the bison extinction in American history. This image got captured in 1892 outside the Michigan Carbon Works in Rogueville, Michigan. Almost 30 to 60 million bison had inhabited the continent at the end of the 18th century. This photo shows the Capitol Dome under construction in 1855 as the original wood-covered copper structure got replaced by Thomas Walter's new and improved cast-iron design. 
Here, a frontier town in Montana's capital, Helena, is shown in this image of 1865. Montana officially became a territory in 1864 once the hopeful prospectors began flowing into the area during the gold rush. Charles Rath, one of the most accomplished buffalo hunters of the 1800s, can be seen in this picture. He's sitting on a rick of some 40,000 buffalo hides in 1878. This photo shows a sled pulling loads of lumber in 1880, at which point Michigan had become the largest lumber producer in the country because carrying them from the forest wasn't an option. Sleds were essential for moving large logs over artificial ice-covered roadways. This photo shows the construction of a bridge as it was getting closer to its completion in 1883. The iconic piece of the New York skyline was a 14-year construction that required 600 workers and cost more than $320 million in today's currencies. In this image from 1906, the extensive quake damage in San Francisco is visible throughout the city. The earthquake triggered a terrible firestorm that destroyed nearly 80% of San Francisco and killed almost 3,000 people. This snap features an American sailor passionately kissing a nurse as thousands gathered in Times Square to celebrate the long-awaited victory over Japan in World War II. This photograph of three-year-old John F. Kennedy Jr. saluting his father's coffin in Washington three days after the assassination of the president on November 1963. It is one of the most famous American history photos, which captures 11 construction workers casually enjoying lunch 850 feet above New York City in 1932. The image was a publicity image for the brand new Rockefeller Center, but throughout the Great Depression, it also brought hope and inspiration to the battered country. Pictures appear more meaningful when combined with the fascinating stories behind them. So stay tuned to get a closer look at the lives of people who are long dead. The German-born physicist Albert Einstein, who is most known for this theory of relativity, also had a sense of humor. Here he is posing at his home in Princeton, New Jersey while donning a pair of fuzzy slippers. In the image taken around 1921, New York City Deputy Police Commissioner John A. Leach is seen observing officers as they pour illegal alcohol into the sewers. Americans were barred from buying alcohol for 13 years in the United States, from 1920 to 1933. This shot captures NASA's chief software engineer for the Apollo program, Margaret Hamilton. She is pictured standing next to binders of her handwritten code, which helped put American astronauts safely on the moon in 1969. In this image pictured around 1942, pilots Francis Green, Margaret Kirshner, Ann Waldner, and Blanche Osborne are walking away from a B-17, pistol packing mama. The United States encouraged women to assist in filling pilot shortages as World War II raged. This photo is uncommon because it was captured in 1938, a year after the Statue of Liberty's torch had been off-limits to tourists since 1916. Workers can be seen on the torch balcony scaling the iconic statue for renovations. This image shows Little Boy, the atomic bomb that the American army dropped on Japan's Hiroshima in the closing stages of World War II. Hiroshima's bombing claimed 80,000 lives, destroying the city and altering history forever. Another prize-winning photo got captured in 1976 during an anti-busing protest in front of Boston City Hall. It depicts an angry protester, Joseph Rakes, wielding an American flag. Despite the Lower East Side of Manhattan is now a popular neighborhood, it was formerly only for immigrants and less fortunate New Yorkers. Here, children are sitting near the body of a dead horse, which was not an uncommon sight in the early 20th century. A Japanese-American is standing near a sign in San Francisco, California, announcing that people of Japanese ancestry must migrate to internment camps. Migrants were imprisoned from 1942 to 1945, and it's considered a shameful period in American history. Some proud parents can be seen in this photograph participating in the Gay Pride March alongside their LGBTQ kids in New York City on June 30, 1974. As the fight for LGBT rights ramped up in the 1970s, many parents wish to show their support. That's all for today's video. For more such interesting content, give this video a big thumbs up and a drop a comment down below. Subscribe to us for more such content and we will see you at the next